Hey there, this is Fritz Westover, your viticulturist here at Virtual Viticulture Academy and with the Vineyard Underground podcast, wherever you listen to podcasts. I'm going to answer a question from the field from a grower within the community here at Virtual Viticulture Academy a, about a specific problem they're having with a vine that is turning red. And I want to invite you all to hear my response. Okay, so this question is from Justin in Texas. Justin says, I have a Merlot vine that first got my attention because of stunted growth and now the late season appearance of red leaves. I'm going to show a photo of that next. In fact, if I jump ahead, you can see those red leaves there on the left on this vine. Okay, upon closer inspection, I found obvious damage to the trunk right above the graft. Could this be from some unknown injury or maybe one of the three hailstorms we had this season? Uh, I flagged the vine with some yellow zip tie so I can find it again. Uh, number one, I'm wondering if this is crown gall, um, but I'd like to get a diagnosis. Number two, I assume the vine also needs to completely come out and cannot be saved by either cutting off uh, at the trunk below the injury or cutting above the graft um, because it is so close to the graft, this damage. And number three, are, are other vines in the area at risk of this spreading? Is it something that can spread? Uh, can it spread by pruning? So I paraphrased a little there, but look at the damage here. Justin, this vine is something I see very commonly in vineyards um, towards the fall, the end of the season, near harvest, especially in young vines. And that's because a lot of times there's a bad graft in grafted vines, vinifera or other grafted vines. You have to imagine a nursery is doing thousands, if not tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of grafts per year, and not 100% of those can take 100% of the time. So sometimes a vine looks healthy, it goes in your vineyard, but if the graft is weak, if the callus tissue didn't completely heal, then you might have a obstruction or some blockage or a bottleneck effect that is not allowing nutrients and water to pass effectively from that graft to the upper par part or portion of the vine. So in this situation, you see some reddening of the leaves because you have some anthocyanin production because the vine's under stress. Now, the first thing I recommend you do is look for any damage on the trunk. And you actually did that and found that you had these fissures or these cracks in the base of your trunk. And I would guarantee that if you had three big hail events this year, that hail damage probably started this damage. And what happens is when hail damage or it could be mechanical damage from a mechanical weeder or other farm equipment, when that happens, or if it's freeze damage that happens, that dead tissue does not move, it's dead tissue. So as the living tissue around it expands and increases, that dead tissue breaks and splits. And that's why you can have cracking like you're seeing here. So this is definitely something that I would like to see uh, removed from the vineyard. If you have damage that's as bad as you just showed me in that photo, and it's all the way down to the graft, there's no way you can cut the vine and hope that new healthy tissue will emerge from where that damaged tissue is. If the damage was much higher above the graft, maybe six inches or more above the graft, 10 centimeters or more above the graft, maybe you can cut out the damage and then allow a shoot to develop from below that damage, but yet above the graft union, because you need that cyan variety that you want to be what's growing when you renew the vine. But in this case, I find it's very rare uh, that this comes from the nursery, unless there is a problem with the batch, uh, you might find one or two or three vines in a thousand that might have this issue. In some cases, it could be more as much as 1%. I typically remove these vines if I see any sign of damage or if they don't recover within a year. Um, if there's physical damage, go ahead and remove it. If there's no physical signs of damage and you're just not sure if the vine is maybe stressed from uh, heat or drought, or maybe it's in an area where the soil is very poor or has been um, let's just say excavated or, or it's a uh, eroded soil, maybe that's causing the premature reddening or it's nutritional, that could be the issue. But if it's right in the middle of a bunch of healthy vines, otherwise surrounding it, typically it's a problem with the graft union or damage to the trunk. So make sure you take a good look at that and um, get back if you have any other questions. I would remove the vine you have in this case because we can obviously see damage from the hail. Um, and you want to start taking a note of this and finding out how many vines need to be replaced so you can contact your nursery and start putting in an order for your replant vines. So I hope all of you enjoyed hearing my response to Justin's question from Texas. And if you have any other questions, you can go to virtualviticultureacademy.com and click on the contact form there. You could also hear me doing some more live vineyard advising at 
vineyardundergroundpodcast.com or wherever you listen to podcasts. Thanks for checking in today. Be a better grape grower. Thanks.